Hello guys, this is Lina Slima Yankee 2 Hotel. I'm in the park today, it's very windy so the sound could be problematic. So to make my audio less problematic, I'm gonna use my voice over sometimes in this video. The antenna on the test today is a 29 foot or 8.8 .8 meters long wire mounted on a 10 meter tall soda beams mast. The wire is fed through the anon transformer. But which anon is best, 9 to 1 or 4 to 1? That is a question of today's. So stay tuned and make your own conclusions. In this video I'm gonna focus most on the CG antenna transformer with balloon designs as a reference unit and a source of the 4 to 1 transformation. So the CG antenna 1 to 9 balloon is mistakenly called a balloon because it's a anon. Because it's the antenna wire connects here, unbalanced load, the ground wire connects here and the unbalanced coax cable connects here. So that's an anon, 1 to 9, unbalanced, unbalanced, impedance transformer. Whatever it is, it's compact and it's lightweight and it should run up to 100 watts, at least what it says on the label. So it measures really like 6 centimeters by 3.5 centimeters by 2.5 centimeters. So very compact indeed. The box itself is not weatherproofed, it's not sealed, so keep in mind if you use it in the open air and, the, and there are elements around, so you need to put probably into some plastic box or whatever. Voila, what's inside? We see a very tiny toroid core, one and a half centimeter high and the diameter probably one centimeter. It's unknown to me type of toroid it's all covered by some glue making it more stable the whole construction which is actually not bad the wire itself which the transformer is wound off is pretty thin the size of the transformer uh, together with the gouge of the wire I think it's it's not really suitable for 100 watts we will see it in the test the label says maximum input power 100 watts. It doesn't say anything about is it intermittent. Of course, probably it's intermittent, which means very short peaks of 100 watts could could be you know applied to this this transformer here. 29 foot antenna is the shortest, so to say, officially approved random wire length, which is recommended for a vertical and which should tune to all bands, even 80 you know but normally 40 to 10 or to 6 meters let's let's see now what's inside everything's ready here i'm now at the power of 30 watts in the rtty mode to to produce the steady carrier will it tune automatically it should tune automatically almost one to one great so Let's jump to 80 meter band, just, you know, just for fun. Yes, 1.6. <laughs> yeah, you see, 1.6 to 1, which is pretty cool, I would say. 9 meters of wire, that's it, and it tunes on 80 meters. I doubt very much about the efficiency on 80 meters, but, well, it tunes. If it tunes, you may expect, you know, to transmit something and, you know, then you expect to make a QSO. That would take, you know, some night time to test it out. Maybe I'll do that in the future uh, because now I'm, I'm, I'm going to be busy with activating a park. I'm in the park now. So this is 29 foot antenna and three radials laying on the ground around six meters each. I'm not going to put today 100 watts, but I'm going to put something around 60, maybe 70 watts from my transceiver into this. And we will see if, if this Anon is not suitable for 
100 or, or 70, 60, 70 watts of power cannot handle, then we will see it on the SWR meter, on the radio or on the tuner. Then, you know, if, if the torrent gets hot, then SWR will climb up. Here I'm in a nice pileup on 40 meter band CW running 70 watts into this CG Anon with no problems. So far so good. 10 minutes in the pileup and SWR still stays. More than 50 European stations gave me good reports on 40 meter band, proving the tiny Anon score works fine on lower bands. But on higher band, situation changed a bit, with some weird things happening. 20 meter band now. 1.2 to 1. Very good. After some 5 minutes of intense operation at the power level of some 70 watts, the tuner started indicating high SWR and issued an alarm signal. All right, and now something strange started happening. Probably on 20 meter band, the toroid in the Anon, you know, does not stand the power or something like that. Yeah, it shows fail. Turning the output power down to 50 watts seemingly cured the problem. The same behavior repeated itself on 17 meter band too. So it's clear for me now, the CG Anon is not for 100 watts in CW mode at least. But it's totally okay for lower power applications like using it with micro PA50 or similar 40 to 50 watts power amplifiers. The CG antenna Anon, which was device on the test today, uh, it works, definitely it works, it makes all the transformation of impedances, which is good, and uh, the tuner, my 1800 Pro tuner, could tune all bands with no problems, even, even on 80 meter bands. So it takes some more experimenting, but the first impression is the Anon is very nice, very small, very lightweight, good, good for packing, good for carrying. It's, it works very good even with higher power on uh, 40 and 30 meter bands, uh, on lower bands, but it's, got, it's, it's getting some problems uh, on higher bands at this power level. All right, so here I installed the Monster Balloon, uh, 9 to 1 and 4 to 1 Anon from Balloon Designs. It's rated 2 kilowatts of power. It's a monster Anon, it's a monster Anon. So let's compare it to the CG antenna. CG antenna Anon is just, just a tiny, tiny and pocket size. This one is really powerful. This one is not, but it works. So 80 meter band with Balloon Designs Anon with nine to one ratio. 1.5 to 1. Yes, it, it tunes also nicely. As expected, the high power 9 to 1 Anon was working nicely on all bands, exposing no flaws at all. So now, how about 4 to 1 ratio? Could I use it instead of 9 to 1? Let's see. It was 9 to 1 before and now it's 4 to 1. Let's, let's see maybe it's enough you know to have four to one uh, anons uh, maybe these are more popular with this 29 foot long antenna 8.8 .8 meters long we are on 80 meters now four to one transformer 1.2 it's okay it's okay the same result as it was with the nine to one Okay, let's let's go 40 meter band on 40 1.04 to 1 on 40 meter band with with a 4 to 1 anon 
No problem, so far so good. So, 30 meter band. 30 meter band. 1.1, no problems. 20 meter band, one to four annon. 1.02, no problems. So far so good, it's even better than nine to one, <laughs> you see? Putting long story short, all the bands were tuning good with the four to one annon, except of the 10 meter band, single side band range. Fail. All right, it fails on SSB band, SSB portion of the band, maybe it, it works on CW portion of the band. Yes, it does. 1.7 to 1. So basically my conclusion is whatever Anon you got, 4 to 1 or 9 to 1, go and try it with the 29 foot length antenna. All right, so you see, interestingly enough, but uh, whatever Anon you've got, 9 to 1 or 4 to 1, with the 29 foot long wire, it works, any, any of these Anons worked actually with the same success. I think this is, finally speaking, very, very good solution for, uh, for the portable operation. Antenna like this, uh, lightweight sort of beams, nine, meter, nine meters and a half actually. They say, they, they call it 10 meter high, but it's nine, nine meters and a half uh, high uh, sort of beams pole, uh, fiberglass pole. Uh, it's pretty lightweight, pretty transportable, and uh, you can fix it anywhere quite easily. So, and 8.8 um, .8 to 9 meters of wire uh, works very nice. Of course, if you got a tuner, if you got a tuner like I use today, my 1800M Pro, automatic tuner, but whatever, even the even manual tuner. Uh, would uh, would do well. This type of antenna is is I think one of the antennas to go, if uh, if you want you know rapid deployment and then you know quick uh, quick winding up, and efficiency which is probably not that good as a full size dipole, but not in every forest you are able to deploy full size dipole, right? So. In these cases, verticals are a pretty, pretty good decision, pretty good solution. Okay, my park activation was a success. I've done 65 QSOs in some two hours time. The bands were so-so, but still, it, it, it's okay. 65 QSOs, it's, it's okay. I, I only needed 44 to activate a park. But my main goal today was, of course, not to activate this park. Uh, but to test uh, my 29 feet antenna with my CG antenna 9 to 1 Anon. Uh, I think the experiment was pretty good. Antenna has been working very, very nice on 40 meters and on 30 meter band. It was tuning also very well with my AT100M Pro uh, automatic antenna tuner. Uh, the tuner was able to tune actually uh, the wire, uh, the 29 feet wire on, on all bands actually. Please, if you do have some experience with this CG antenna Anon, uh, with, with your activations or with your operations, please drop me a line in the comment sections. It would be very interesting to compare our impressions. So, as it is now, see you in my next videos. Thanks for watching and 73. This is Linus, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. Cheerio!